Open up. Oh, look, there's Charlie and Lola. We'll be having the bestest, friendliest, cleverest time ever with Charlie and Lola later on as well. That just leaves you, Android. Tommy Zoom will be flying around. Yes, no, oh. Oh, Clifford the big red dog. No, look up. Ah, oh, got it, over here, look. Very clever. It's Postman Pat and Jess the Cat. We better go over to Greendale and find out what they're up to right now. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure there'll be knock, ring, letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. One sunny morning, Pat was hurrying along the road with a van full of letters and parcels for the people of Greendale. Suddenly, he had to stop. <laughs> it was Alf Thompson driving his sheep across the road. Don't worry, Jess. They won't eat you. The sheep went into a field, and Pat was on his way again. His next stop was at the village school. Where is everybody? The children were bringing things to school for a display. Charlie Pringle had a bunch of flowers. Lucy Selby had brought a basket of eggs. My, your hens have been busy. And Tom Pottage had some day-old chicks. Hey, mind how you go. Whilst looking at all these things, Pat had forgotten his letters. But Bill Thompson came along with a cup of tea. Thank you, said Pat. And Bill took the letters. Sarah Gilbertson came for his cup. Have you done, she said. Nearly. Thanks, Sarah. That was grand. Goodbye. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat Just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. 
Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure they'll be knock. Bring letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat was getting on well with his round. He locked his van and as it was a nice day for a picnic, he took his sandwiches to a field on the hill above Thompson Ground. E, it's been an easy day today. was so warm that Pat soon fell asleep. But Mrs. Thompson's hens were wide awake and Pat had left his sandwich box open with his keys neatly beside it. The noise woke Pat, just in time to chase after his sandwiches. And then he turned round in time to see a cheeky hen stealing his keys. I must get my keys back. I can't open the van or deliver my letters without them. Oh, so that's where you've got to. Oh dear, it's a long time since I climbed a tree, but here goes. was just reaching out when the hen dropped the keys and flew off. Now the keys were stuck in the tree, and as Pat was climbing towards them, the branch gave way and... Oh! Oh! Right in the middle of a prickly bush. Ouch! Mrs. Thompson had heard the commotion and came to see what was going on. Pat told her about the thieving hen. Deary me, said Mrs. Thompson, the little devil. She must think she's a magpie or some such. We'd better get a ladder and see if we can reach your keys. There'll be no more posts today unless we can, said Pat. That won't do, said Mrs. Thompson, especially when I'm expecting a letter from Auntie Jean to say whether she's coming for Easter or not. So they went for the ladder. I'll take it now.
They're here, all right. Look, I've got them. There's something else up here. Lots of things. It's like a magpie's nest. My. He brought everything down to show Mrs. Thompson. There were all kinds of shiny things. There's my wedding ring that went missing last Easter. I thought I'd lost it down the sink. <clears throat> That's all right. Uh, I'll get it down. Mind your head. My hens have stolen your sandwiches. You'd better come and have some dinner with me. There's plenty to spare. That's very nice of you. Pat was glad he lost his sandwiches when he saw what a good dinner Mrs. Thompson had cooked. Mrs. Thompson was glad, too. She'd got her ring back. But it was soon time to be off. Thanks for the meal. It was lovely. Come on, Jess. Jess! Come on! Just fancy, said Bat. A magpie hen. <laughs> Who ever heard of such a thing? Pat stopped to tell Sam Waldron about the magpie hen. It had better keep away from my van, he said. I wonder if that's where my tie pin went. Hmm, sounds odd. Just needs a clean. When Pat saw Miss Hubbard, he told her about the magpie hen. Well, I lost a silver earring last month, she said. And a hat pin. I wonder if they're up a tree somewhere. I must go and see Mrs. Thompson. On the way home, Pat met Alf Thompson on his tractor and stopped to tell him about the magpie hen. Alf couldn't think of anything he'd lost, but he thought it was a good story. Pat had a letter for him. Ooh, one for me. I'll not lose this anyway. Cheerio. Bye. saw some real magpies on the way home and wondered if they had taught Mrs. Thompson's hens to steal. As for Jess, <laughs> he was asleep. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat.
Can you guess who I'm talking about?